Hello friends, welcome to the 72 session of Hybris tutorial. In this session, guys, we are going to learn how to hide the system update and system initialization option in the HSC. Guys, if we go to the HSC, you can see this is the HSC skin and guys, I am able to open the HSC or I am able to open the storefront because I have done the B2C accelerator setup in my local system. In case you have not done the local setup in your system, you can watch our video. The link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in card section. So you can watch that video and you can also do the setup in your system as well. But guys, if you see the HSC, we have the options over here, right where here we have the platform tab. In the platform tab, guys, we have the initialization option and we have the update option. So guys, this is a demo video in which we have explained the functional concepts related to hiding the system update and initialization option in HSC. We have explained why we need to hide the system update and initialization option in HSC. But in case guys, you want to see the technical concept, how actually we can hide the system update and initialization option in HSC, what code changes we need to perform in order to achieve this requirement, guys, you can click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can become our member. Once you become our member, then you will have access to this member specific video in which we have explained the technical concepts as well like what all code changes you need to do in order to hide the initialization option in HSC. So just click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and become our member and get the full access to this member specific video. If I go to the initialization, so you can see this is the initialization console. Here what we do, if I click on the initialize button, what it will do, it will clean up your DB. It will delete all your schemas and tables and then it will recreate or refill the data in those tables from the scratch. So this is the use of initialization. Similarly, if you perform the system update, system update means in case you have done any changes in the existing tables, then those changes can be reflected if you perform the system update. For example, let's say there is an employee table and in that employee table you create another attribute like let's say employee information. So for that you will do the changes in item.xml file but to reflect those changes you have to perform the system update. Guys, but here the risk comes when you are working actually in the production system where you have the actual customer data in that system system initialization is never allowed you are not allowed to perform the system initialization once your site is up and running once your site is opened for the public use after that we never perform the system initialization system initialization is either performed in your local systems or it is performed in the production system only the first time when we open the website after that system initialization is never performed so in that scenario guys it is very important that we disable this system initialization option because it can be the possibility that there is a new joiner in the team who is not aware of the risk behind the sys doing the system initialization and he just click on this initialize button. In that case, your already existing data present in the different tables will be deleted. For example, let's say you have a website, it has millions of customer data present in your system or millions of order data present in your system. So if you perform the system initialization, all data will get deleted. So it will lead to the big loss for the business so in any scenario we cannot allow to perform the system initialization once your website is open for the public use now guys here comes the question how we can hide the system initialization or system update option from the HSC so that no one can perform the initialization or update even by mistake so I hope now you understand what is the need to hide the initialization or update option and guys how we can hide the initialization and update option that I am going to tell you now. So for that we need to do some changes in our code. So those changes we will be discussing. 
as you can see guys here i have already done the two local setups of hybris in my system one setup is guys running on port number 9002 right and there is another setup guys which is running on the port number 9022 right in 9002 port right we have the hsc running and here you can see guys i have the update option i have the initialization option but guys i have already done the changes in the hsc which is running on the port number 9022 if you see over here guys here if i go to the platform tab i don't have the option of update and initialization it means i am not able to you know click on the update or initialization so no one can click on the initialization option even by mistake if we do those changes so what changes i have done to hide those update and initialization options from here that I am going to tell you as you can see on the HSC which is running on the port number 9002 this option is present initialization and update but HSC which is running on port number 9022 here this option is no longer present so what changes I have to do 